Choking is a common cause of injury and death in young children because their small airways are easily obstructed. Here's what you can do to save your child if he chokes on a foreign object. Look for choking signs and symptoms such as loss of voice, difficulty in breathing, or when his lips or face turns blue. Support the back of the infant's head and neck with your palm and his back with your forearm. Using your other hand, support the infant's jaw with your thumb on one side and the rest of your fingers on the other side. Place your forearm on the infant's chest and lift him up. Straddle the infant face down with his head lower than his body. On the same side as the forearm supporting the infant's chest, strike your leg forward, bending at the knee and keeping your foot flat on the floor. Place the forearm that is supporting the infant's chest on your thigh with his head facing downwards. Deliver five back blows forcefully between the shoulder blades with the heel of your other hand. Sandwich the infant and turn him over with head lower than the body. Rest your forearm supporting the infant's back onto your thigh. Using your ring finger, draw an imaginary line. Place your middle finger and index finger next to your ring finger. Lift your ring finger and deliver five chest thrusts over the lower half of the sternum. If a foreign body is seen in his mouth, place the infant on a firm flat surface and remove the foreign body with your little finger. If the infant loses consciousness, prepare for 30 chest compressions. Position infant on a firm flat surface and call 995 immediately. If someone is nearby, get them to help by retrieving the AED. The My Responder app helps you to locate the nearest publicly accessible AED from your location. Use your index finger to draw an imaginary line. Place your middle finger and ring finger next to your index finger in an upright position. Lift your index finger, but maintain the middle finger and the ring finger on the sternum. Prepare for 30 chest compressions. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 10. Ensure that you compress about 100 to 120 times per minute. Each compression about 3 to 4 centimeters deep. Then perform head tilt chin lift. Do not hyper extend. If a foreign body is visible, you can remove it by using a hooking action. Do not perform a blind sweep. Attempt first ventilation. If chest does not rise after the first ventilation, reposition the casualty's head and re attempt to ventilate. Repeat the 30 chest compression. Check for foreign body again and perform the ventilation. If chest rises on the first ventilation, check for breathing. If the casualty is still not breathing, continue chest compression until AED or paramedics arrive. If the infant resumes breathing, carry or place him in a lateral position and wait for paramedics to arrive. Remember, immediate application of CPR and AED can raise survival rates as high as 60%. You have the power to save a life.